Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another Jujutsu Kaisen video. In this one, I will be covering chapter 226, titled Inhuman Makio Shinjuku Showdown Part 4. So, the battle between Sukuna and Gojo continues. And last week's chapter, I was scared because Gojo got that neck slash, which I don't. I didn't know if it was a deep injury or not, but it actually did look like a deep injury. That's why Gojo used reverse curse technique to actually heal it. Now, in last week's review, I do not remember if I said that Gojo probably is going to use reverse curse technique, which that is a thing that definitely comes in clutch a lot of the time in the Jujutsu Kaisen series. Now, I have to say this right off the bat, is that the creator of Jujutsu Jujutsu Kaisen, Giga Kutami has created one of the best power systems in shonen manga history. For me to this day, I think that the person that made the best power system is Togashi. Togashi's power system, the Nen system, is just unbeatable. But I do believe uh, Jujutsu Kaisen is number two when it comes to power system and the intricate part of it. It is just really awesome how things from so many arcs ago come back in different ways and just seeing Gojo being displayed as a genius of battle, even using simple domain in this chapter where somebody was like, oh, Gojo could use simple domain, but you couldn't teach it. It was great. So I read the chapter already, but I'm going to go over each thing one by one by one, you know, make a long video. I know you like the long videos. You don't want those short two, three minute, actually, no, like five minute video. That's like two, two short and stuff. So let's get right into it. So the battle starts with uh the domain battle right so sukuna last week's chapter he wins the domain battle he has the bar barrierless domain <clears throat> and sukuna's domain is really cool so after gojo uses reverse curse technique to heal his neck wound we see that gojo's in trouble so the reason he's in trouble is because sukuna's domain is still open while gojo is fighting right gojo has no domain and when a domain is open there's just guarantee hits that you you get no matter what and also your curse techniques are amplified so your attacks are doing even more damage so during this chapter as this is happening gojo's getting slashed up by sukuna's curse technique that slashes and stuff and he's taking a bunch of damage but as he's taking all the damage right we got to remember gojo as he's taking the damage he feels the damage he feels it he's it's not like gojo doesn't feel pain or anything like that but he is basically taking all the hits uh using reverse curse technique uh spamming reverse curse technique to heal himself because if he doesn't if he doesn't heal in time and he takes a critical hit he will die gojo is human and like Knox on twitter said this is a battle of gods, right? The gods of the Jujutsu, Jujutsu world, basically. We have Sukuna, the god of curses. And we could just say Gojo, the god of uh, sorcerers, right? Gojo has the six eyes and all that. But even with that, we get this line. With regard to curse technique, I'm overwhelmingly stronger. Now, I... Yeah, Sukuna is the one that actually says this. Well, he doesn't actually say it, but he thinks it. So Sukuna, in every sense of the word, is more powerful, well, more skilled than Gojo in every sense of the word. Even though Gojo is a genius, Sukuna, Sukuna is a genius as well, right? They're both geniuses. So it's really awesome seeing two, two people that at the period of time they were at the top they're the top of the class right they're the they were the strongest in their era and stuff which is really cool let me just close my window real quick they're they're basically the top and they're fighting now which to show who has supremacy i, I like the hand-to-hand -hand combat in, the, in this chapter <clears throat> and i like that gojo uses the new shadow style simple domain to the uh to protect himself against Sukuna's domain expansion and to protect himself against the hits. But the thing is, even if, every time he uses it, it doesn't matter because it's simple domain is not, not going to last forever. And then Gojo has to use the simple domain again to negate the attack that he's going to get hit with and using reverse curse technique at the same time. So while Gojo is doing all of this, right? He's basically using a lot of curse energy, like double the curse energy. So this character says, under ordinary circumstances, he wouldn't. But he continued running reverse curse technique full blast immediately after opening his domain. He's expended twice the usual amount of curse energy, all while the powerful Sukuna has been attacking nonstop. 
does that mean no he wouldn't run out of curse energy so even gojo himself the guy with the six eyes is running out of curse energy in this battle uh because sukuna is just spamming attacks over and over again so really awesome stuff and then we have this line is gojo going to lose when i read this i was like the first time i was like is gojo going to lose like even if gojo lost it will still be a respectable loss because he's losing i guess you could say one of the strongest characters in the entire world right if not stronger than gojo but gojo is a genius as well so so we, we have this line i don't think that sukuna has lost the battle either but this was really cool how gojo got into like an mma style grip on sukuna he got close to him he clinches sukuna and gojo actually uses reverse cursing neek in I think this is the first time we've ever seen this, right? In in his inside. Is that possible? Maybe he couldn't heal his body because he was using reverse curse technique to heal his burned out curse technique. This is what Yuta says. So you could actually do this. So once you run out of curse technique, you could use reverse curse technique to heal that burnt out curse technique. So that's why Gojo was able to use red against Sukuna. And that was such a shocking thing. I am not going to lie to you. He uses red, sends Sukuna flying. Sends Sukuna flying to the center of Sukuna's domain. And Sukuna does take damage. He does take damage. He's bloodied and battered. And Gojo says, phew, this wasn't easy. Gojo has a bunch of scars. Bunch of slices and stuff on his body. But, you know, Gojo says this line, this wasn't easy. I guess he's talking about hitting Sukuna with that attack. It wasn't easy. But this does not mean the battle is over. They both have taken critical damage. The thing is that Sukuna's domain is still open. Which is not a good thing. Because Sukuna still could get a uh, guaranteed hit. And yes, Gojo healed some of his curse technique to use red. But at the same time, it's going to get to a point where he will run out of curse energy. And he can't just keep spam spamming simple domains forever. Now, on Twitter, Nox actually said something really good. Shout out to Nox uh, on Twitter. Actually, let me put his... I'm going to... Let me do this real quick. I'm going to put his... I'm going to just link his Twitter. He tweeted something. He says... I just want to comment on how well done the Curse Energy Power System is. The reason we're able to speculate on the future of this fight between these gods of Jujutsu who are showing us the highest level of this power system for the first time with any amount of confidence plus is because Gege has perfectly balanced the knowns and unknowns of the power system for the audience up to this point in the story. The knowns are so well fleshed out showing us that Curse Energy is a logically consistent and thorough considered concept. Which lets us know that the unknowns, when eventually revealed, will all be in keeping with the previously established knowns, which allows us to have a lot of fun guessing the unknowns and feel like we have a chance at accurately predicting them. Uh, but he also says something very interesting. He, uh, I believe it was Knox that said it. Knox, he said that it would be cool if, if uh, not Gojo, Sukuna uses domain expansion Chimera Shadow Guardian, which is something that I thought that Sukuna was going to do initially, but he used in his own domain ex instead. But basically, that Sukuna, when he uses the uh, main expansion Chimera Shadow Guardian, it might be barrier barrierless as well, and obviously it will be an improved version of Megumi's uh, domain expansion Chimera Shadow Guardian because it's Sukuna at the other day, and Sukuna has done all of Megumi's techniques way better than him. have to drink some water so yeah i really enjoyed this chapter it was really good the battle is intensifying and this is not an easy battle for gojo at all if gojo falls however uh to tell you the truth i don't i don't know who the, who in the world is going to beat sukuna let's say gojo okay beat sukuna then that's it he's exhausted he can't fight anymore i i do think the other characters if they all team together can take on kenjako because we saw uh I believe her name was Suki. Let's see. Yeah, Sumiki. Uh, Sumiki. No, it's not Sumiki. What the heck? I'm like Sumiki. 
Sukumo, so Yuki Sukumo, uh, she ge- she definitely gave Kenjaku a a very very hard battle. So yeah, overall I'm gonna give this chapter ten out of ten. Hope you enjoy this one and remember to have a great day. Peace.